January 20th, I expect a lot of chaos. <laughs> it will be crowded, but Kitty Sims will be there when Barack Obama is sworn in as president. I just want to be there. I don't care if I'm on the last, if I'm on the bus, if I sit on the bus, I just want to be in the environment. She doesn't have tickets yet, but she has a way to get to Washington. So strong in her belief that Obama would win, Kitty reserved a bus to take her from Pottstown to D.C. on January 20th, way back in June. She said her request took Klein's bus service in Douglasville by surprise. I said this is hypothetical, but I just want to know, can I have a bus if, and no, not if, when he wins the nomination. I want to be able to go. I want to be there. Kitty reserved a big one, a bus with 54 seats for $1,350. It was a good deal at the time. Buses for that size now are double the price. And after he won, I just started getting calls. I mean, calls. I don't, half the people, I don't even know them. <laughs> Her bus is now full. Kitty's seats were just $25 when other seats on bus tours are priced at close to 80. Her daughter has chartered another bus to go along, but those seats are a little more, $42.50. Looks like the pre-planning so paid off. Other people didn't agree with me, but I, I've never wavered on the fact that I felt that there, this was his time and that he was going to be the president. And I never waver from that. And now, even if she's miles away from the steps of the Capitol, Kitty can say she was there when history happened. Karen Millette, 69 News, Burke's Edition.